Lesson four, accents and dynamics. An accent is an emphasis placed on a note or a chord. So a note marked with an accent means to simply play it louder. Now to play accents, rudiments, and rolls, we're going to need to teach you three more strokes. The downstroke, the tap, and the upstroke. Let's start with the downstroke. Now to play a downstroke, we start in the regular playing position. We'll play a full stroke and stop the rebound of the stick one to two inches above the head by lightly squeezing the back three fingers and stopping the wrist motion like this. Now let's play the three exercises at the bottom of page 25 focusing on the full stroke and the downstroke. We'll play these two times through. Here's number one. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 down. Now here's number two. Two, ready, go. Down, 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 down. Now we're going to go on to number three, and these are just consecutive eighth notes that are just repeating, and basically four on the right and four on the left. I'll slow these down a little bit for you. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 down. Okay, that's the downstroke. Now the tap stroke is simply played by slightly lifting the stick, striking the drum, and returning to the normal playing position. Executing a somewhat soft stroke when you do this. Let's play the three exercises on page 26 now. Here's number one. One, two, ready, play. Tap, 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 tap. 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 And here's number two. One, two, three, four. Tap, 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 tap. 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 And again, number three, just consecutive taps, consecutive eighth notes, four on each hand. One, two, three, four. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Thank you, Fred Astaire. Okay, that's the tap, the soft stroke. Now the upstroke. The upstroke is a prep stroke for playing an accent. You start in the regular playing position, and you play a tap stroke, and then in the same motion, you lift the stick in preparation for a stroke of louder volume that's coming next. Now, when you're just learning this stroke, practice these at no particular tempo with both hands until it feels really comfortable. Okay, now let's combine all three strokes and play the exercises at the top of page 27. And remember, if I'm playing these too fast for you, slow the tempo down, the main focus is to execute the different stroke types comfortably no matter how slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, 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 down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, 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 down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, 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 down, tap, tap, up, down, tap, tap. Okay, here's number two. One, two, three, four. Down, tap, tap, tap. 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 Okay, now we're gonna move on to number three. A little bit more challenging. And one, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, tap, 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 down,
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, tap, down, up, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap, down, tap. Whew, that was a workout. Okay, the exercise in the middle of page 27 is in 3-4 time, three beats to the measure. This exercise incorporates the three stroke types and is useful for learning triplets later in the toolbox. Down, tap, up, down, tap, up, down, tap, up, down, tap, tap, down, tap, up, down, tap, up, down, tap, up, down, tap, tap. So later on as you get familiar with this uh, with these three stroke types, this should become one fluid motion eventually for you to play. Okay, now let's play through exercise four at the bottom of the page, focusing on the three new strokes as well as some consecutive full strokes. We're going to play this one time through. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, good job. Now, dynamics are music symbols that tell us how loud or soft to play. They're placed underneath the staff. There's a really thorough listing of these at the top of page 28, including the crescendo, which means to gradually get louder, and diminuendo or decrescendo, which means to gradually get softer. Now, it's important to note that dynamic levels are not related to tempo. So if you start playing louder, that doesn't mean to just start playing faster. Uh, another reason to practice with that groove track, okay? So we'll play exercise number one at the bottom of page 28. We're going to play it two times through, going back and forth from forte to piano using full strokes, down strokes, and taps. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Okay, now let's play exercise number one at the top of page 29. We're going to play this one two times through with a wider variety of dynamics. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now we'll play number two, and as you'll notice, this six bar phrase is actually one long crescendo as the dynamics gradually move from piano to fortissimo, and we're in two four, two beats to the bar. Here we go. And one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So accents and dynamics are another important tool to have in your toolbox for becoming a musical drummer.